places at Juma Private Game Reserve, for me at least anyway, and it's also quite rare. We're in a Tamburti thicket. This particular tree that you're looking at now, all the straight stemmed, dark, dark barked, green foliaged trees that you're looking at now, you can see them, all the straight big trees, they're all the same species, they're Tamburti, Spirostachus africanum, and one of the rarest forest types in, in it's actually in fact the rarest forest type in South Africa is this Tambuti thicket forest. Here you're going up the tree, you can see that very square, almost angular, angular, angular bark, lovely straight branches. And it's because of this that they were harvested to near extinction for their wood. Not only is their wood very beautifully grained, it's a lovely dark color and I'm going to show it to you now, but also the, the, with the trees being so straight, they made planks quite easily in. These, these trees were quite often turned into uh, boxes, storage boxes, decorative storage boxes, uh, wood inlays on tables, uh, into furniture as inlays. You can still buy it today in actual fact. It's heavily controlled of course, you need a permit to trade in it, you need a permit to harvest it. But inside the Kruger National Park, you have these very odd thickets from time to time. This is the largest Tambuti thicket that I've ever seen in 20 years of walking around in the bush over here. And it is in beautiful condition. Some very old trees a little bit further down there. And as we go back up in this direction, the trees get a little bit younger. But not by much. These trees are all very, very slow growing. I mean, a large Tambuti tree is probably in the region of 250 to 400 years old. These trees all here, who knows, but easily older than any of us watching the show today, that's for sure. Let's walk off to this particular Tambuti in front of us and see, well, let's stay over here in actual fact. We've got a nice open clearing. I don't want to go anywhere that costs us a little bit of signal. So one of the reasons why Tambuti is so, is so sought after is the fact that its wood is so beautifully grained. I'm going to try and shave off a little of this dead branch so that you can see. Let's do that. Try not get my tongue sticking out of my mouth. So you can see as we start going through the layers, you can see that grain coming out of the wood there. Very, very pretty. It's also called the African cedar because it's, it's got a delightful smell, very similar to cedar wood. And that is what made it su such a good thing for jewelry boxes Oh, very nice. Alrighty. Now, you are going to quickly go off to James.